Hello, I'm Mr. G, and in video four, we will meet with students. Let's talk about asynchronous learning. Asynchronous learning is when you record a video or a lesson that explains the objectives to the students. There, it'll be more of a self-paced training for the students. With Google Meet, what you can do is small group for those that are able to join in or individual. If you have Google Classroom, then you also have calendars for your Google Classroom classes that have been created after you create the class. Although you could create an event there and then invite your students, the more or rather the better option would be to create an a Google Meet with a nickname. And the reason is because once you create a Google Meet with a nickname, you can you can provide that nickname to the class either through the stream or as an assignment and then they can meet with you. The awesome thing about doing the nickname Google Meet is that after you the organizer or the host after you leave no student can enter so make sure that all students leave the google meet before you leave i hope you have enjoyed these videos and i know that you probably still have questions the best way to actually and learn how it works is by actually doing it if you still have any questions don't hesitate to send me a message I'm on Google Chat, c.garza17 at LGISD, and I am also on Twitter, at EduGoogDroid. I'm Mr. G. Cheers.